how shall we get to the commandant's office? I guess we could try the direct approach. still asleep which is not part of the approach just something I'm curious about now where we actually want to go is the ventilator room um it's this one Security headquarters allows you to turn off the air conditioning. How dastardly. An electric panel. Hmm. Okay, I don't. Imagine this is not terribly clean. Okay. And for our troubles we get... A random piece of electric cable. Hooray! It's not like just any other piece of conducting material could have fulfilled this function. Oh no! And what we do with this is... <coughs> like so. And the door opens for good measure. Oh yes. Oh, if 
finally get to the part where jumping is of some use. And which of these ways to go? Well, we have this map, which says we should go to the right. So, we'll go every other way first. <coughs> because there must be something down these pathways as well. And indeed, magic rings, is that a small or medium? It's a medium. to some living or working spaces. Why not have it attached to the air ducts with actual ventilation? Oh, oh it leads to right over here for some reason. I uh, do not see the value in this. go where we are supposed to be going. Hop. Mm -hmm. and so why do those doors look like they are made out of scrap metal and what is this alien-like residue on the walls here? Why are these ventilation ducts so enormously large? These questions and more will not be answered ever. Hmm. I think that is the way we want to go, so hey, nothing here. Hmm. Gandalf's office? No, it's too small for that. Hmm. Well, it's someone's office. Hmm. What about down there? Someone else's office. Ooh, a save point. Ah, I think I'm good. Those gratings do not look like they are positioned so that it would take full advantage of the air circulation. Now, I don't think that is supposed to be black like that. Oh, I guess it was. I thought it would be something that would slide or drop off from underneath you. And you know you cannot jump over it no matter how much you try. Demon, how did it get in here? Who knows? It gets an uppercut to the face for it. Oh. And from it we get the dodge potion. Magic rings. Life potion. Now, the touch potion and others like this, they are temporary boosts to your different attributes. Now, here we have a shut closet which no one seems to know how to open. And I am one of those. 
people. Oh, we can leave this stuff here around. We don't need dense map anymore. Other stuff can stay. Now, let's see. Ooh. What's in the desk drawer? Hmm. I've passed to another part of the city. And a switch. Anything behind this? I guess not. I'm sure no one will notice. And here we have a rather odd panel. <coughs> now this is where another note we came uh, across will be useful. I'm going to write that down. Let's see. shimmering magical portal hidden away in his office. Doesn't seem like it would be the place, best place to hide that kind of stuff. I mean, where did he get the construction to make that and so on? Hey there, floating old person. So, here you are, nomad soul. The one who holds the fate of Omicron in his hands. You're talking to me? You're talking to me, huh? You are courting great peril, Nomad Soul. I hope you can save this universe from the hell of chaos. No, I don't think your eyes should be moving vertically like that. Well, maybe it's this Asteroth and demons. <laughs> Accept this modest gift. Three interlinking rings. The first two will save your life. The third will bring you back here. Yes. Yeah, these things which kind of look like save points, but are not, and we've been seeing them in action sequence before. And now we finally get some word on what they actually do. So yeah, you die here, ring is used up and you get resurrected right there. And we have this handy power road which as I said before turns an infinite amount of ammunition has an infinite amount of ammunition but only works against demonic enemy which I guess these zombies count as. Hey you. Hmm. 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 Okay now. Oh. Hey, that's a nifty stargate. into a legend of Zelda boss. Mm -hmm. I thought this was 
close to... Oh, now I remember. Don't shoot at the big monster. Shoot at the... Hmm. supposed to shoot at the gate? I guess not. Oh. Oh, now you can shoot. You have to wait for it to summon those zombies and kill them first. My mistake. And yes, you automatically use medikits in these kind of things. Oh, there was lava here as well. No, wait, we went to a magical portal. Where are we? No idea. But that's about all our business done here. So maybe we'll hear more about that mysterious woman who clearly is not Jenna. Did you see white hair on her? Of course not. Oh yeah, I guess we are not that far away because we have this connecting to the city. Congratulations, I'm impressed. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I didn't think you'd succeed. Oh, thank you. By the way, I just had to kill my wife. Want to help me with the mourning process? Hmm. Well, I do know you, so... Um. Okay, there's no time to lose. Your adventures will draw every cop in town. The pass you found in Gandor's office will give you direct access to Janpur. There, a big guy named Yab will be waiting for you at the temple. He will lead you to someone who wants to talk to you. Be careful. The militia may already be on your tracks. You don't say. Hmm. Oh my! Yeah, he went and threw away Kale's police badge while he was at it. Doesn't strike me as the most smartest thing to do. Team! Now we get to go to another part of the city, so. Access to Jaunpur. Hello there, my good car guard, person or robot. Here, have a pass. Oh, I guess they finally caught up with the fact that I'm uh, kind of screwing around here. of a Doctor Who feeling from this, these incarnations. Hmm. I've always wanted to be a nurse. Yes. <coughs> Again, we... Oh! This time we didn't lose as much money, or right, we are left with more money. And we have Ismailan's Medikit. Which doesn't doesn't seem to be all that special. And we are in the body of female nurse who is working on her doctorate. Mm. It's like studying mortal viruses. Shouldn't that be lethal viruses? 
Well, this game was made by French. This common new treatment helps not only treatment, hate selfishness, obscurantism, seeing people suffer. Yeah, now I'm a bald medical lady. Instead, I am going to let you decide who's, who we are going to be, since at this point the game forces you to change into someone else's body. Our contestant number one here is Betsy. She's a reporter for the Omicron News. She enjoys nature and sports. Contestant number two is Samyaza. She is a spiritualist, one of the few chosen by the Supreme Being to commune with the spirits of the dead, and she hates the material world. Contestant number K is Kaya. She is 17, a student of literature, specializing in the pre cobalt era. Contestant number puppy is Jorg. He is a cyborg mercenary whose interests include poetry and murder. La in here is one of the most popular call girls in all of Qualisar. She loves money, luxury and all things which are both expensive and useless. We have an entrant from, from foreign lands. This is Noyasan, one of the Kamichi people who traveled the frozen wastes outside the city and ply their trade. And our final contestant is Dakmed, a three time winner of the Omicron Slider Racing Championship. You, you pick who we shall be next time, as I stay here in this toilet with another man. Leave your votes in the comments, of course, the, hmm. of course the nurse is also still an option. So, until then, Omicron shall... Await you.